Like football and so many sports, English began in Britain, but now belongs to the world. It's spoken by more than a billion people. It's the language of the internet, and it's the language of business, and it transcends borders, cultures, and divides, helping us not just to understand each other better, but to foster mutual respect. In total, two billion people worldwide will be learning English by 2020. But there are millions more on every continent who are still denied the chance to learn English. So today I want Britain to make a new gift to the world, a commitment to help anyone, however impoverished, however far away, to access the tools they need to learn English. And this week I'll use my visit to China and India to begin to make a reality of this new commitment. First I'll announce that the British Council, working with partners from both public and private sectors, will set up a new website offering learners and teachers of English around the world ready access to the materials, resources and qualifications they need to develop the skills. And this new site will enable one-to-one -one tuition to take place in any part of the world. It will put English teachers and learners in touch with their counterparts in Britain and across the globe. And second, to transform English language teaching, we will need to dramatically increase the number and quality of teachers. So I'll announce in India later this week a new British Council programme to recruit master trainers who will train 750,000 teachers of English in India over the next five years. And we'll use the latest technologies and new public-private partnerships to make dynamic English learning, teaching and practice materials available to vast new audiences. In this way, with more teachers, more courses, more websites, and new media channels, we will open up English to new countries and to new generations. Britain taking up the bold task of making English accessible right across the globe.